I was just minding my own business, burning down ASWD's house, when all of a sudden, he found out what I was doing. This man figured out how to arrest me. Now that is pretty rude and disrespectful. Now I'm stuck in my friend's bedrock prison and I have to figure out how to escape using my Minecraft knowledge. Will I be able to make it out or will I be stuck in here forever? Watch till the end of the video and see if I can actually escape. Okay, chill! Relax, you smelly cheese ball. How many rooms are you gonna take me in that look like this, huh? Final one? Okay. Where do you think you're going? Uh, let me let me come in there with you. Let me come in there with you. Come on, come on. Okay, okay, chill. You gonna lock me in this room? All right, fine. You smell like cheese anyways. I don't want you. All right, cool. So now I'm stuck in this bedrock room. <sighs> now, last time ASWD put me in here, he put this armor on me that I couldn't take off and I also couldn't jump. Look at this. This is my space bar. I can't jump. So I'm gonna be using all my Minecraft hacks and knowledge that I've learned from all the hacking videos that we've made to try and escape this prison. Now, step number one, how do you escape a room full of bedrock without being in creative mode? Well, one of the things that ASWD didn't do is he didn't take this stuff out of my inventory. Mmm, I have ender pearls. This right here is my only hope. Assuming that there is no blocks on top of this, I should be able to pearl between these blocks. If I stand between the second and the third block that is on the ground, I should be able to look up at that corner and pearl right into it and then pearl again. Oh, 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 oh yo, it actually worked. <laughs> no flipping way. Okay, I'm now on top of the room that I was just in. And what is, oh my gosh, what is that? A bunch of lava? I can't even jump. How am I supposed to do this? So there's some iron. Okay, first off, before I jump down there and I'm not able to jump back up, let me check and make sure there's nothing else suspicious over here. Glowstone. Uh, more glowstone. Okay, nothing suspicious up here. Okay, yo, how am I supposed to get across this? There's a ton of lava. Right here, we have rails. And is this? Hold on, let me go down here. Oh, now I can't go back up because I can't jump. We got iron. There's lava. I can't jump across this. What's in this? A uh, ton of rails. And then in here, we have a bucket and a pickaxe. Okay, so if I remember correctly, there's a glitch. I'm trying to remember how you did it, but it was with mine carts and we don't have any mine carts here, but we do have iron so we can make mine carts, but we don't have any stone for a stone pickaxe. So how the flip am I supposed to? Ah! What kind of prison is this ASW? But we got to make it over to that door. What if there's like another chest or something that's behind this iron? I'm going to go ahead and risk it for the biscuit, baby. Come on, show me something good. Oh, there is stone. Oh, yes. Let's go, boys. Okay, so we got stone. Yo, so we should be set, honestly. And then we got some wood here. We're going to craft that. There we go. Throw the stone. Okay. And then let's go ahead and get some iron. So we're going to need to make mine carts. But in order to do this glitch successfully, I'm pretty sure you need like, I think it's like four or five mine cards. This is risky guys. I don't know if this is going to work. And if it doesn't work, I'm going to end up in that lava and I'm going to have to restart and probably lose everything real quick. Let me see if there's anything in this iron as well. It, maybe it's just going to be stone, but maybe there's like a chest or something hidden in here. Also, there is powered rails right there. I need those. It's safe to say there's nothing here, but iron with that powered rail. Yeah. Okay. We should be good. Let's start smelting stuff. All right. So I need to smelt all of this iron. Oh, wait, no, bucket, lava bucket, lava bucket. Let me go ahead and take some of this. Yeah. And there's another bucket in here as well. We just keep refilling the, the pot. Yeah, go ahead and put that next one in there. While that is smelting away. All right, let's go ahead and make this. Oh, I also need a button, bro. Let me go ahead and get this. I'm gonna have to smelt this as well. Excuse me, iron. Uh, you know, I really respect you, but I'm just gonna have to take your uh, throne real quick. I also need one of these blocks. Okay, so basically it's something like this. Let me place a block here. And then I'm gonna grab this and then throw it in here. Take this button and put it right here. Now all I need are like five minecarts. All right, boom. Boom, that's 15 iron. Zoop, zoop. I'm really hoping this works. Okay, so then you stack all the mine carts, right? Okay, so there's five mine carts stacked. Okay, then I hop in. It <laughs> Dude, I've tested this before and I've never actually used it in like a real life. Okay, I'm just gonna press one. Oh, 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 come on. Oh, come on. Oh, <laughs> let's 
Let's go. Let's flip and go, boys. That is a cool little glitch, if you know one myself. All right, let's go ahead and go into this next room. What we got here? Oh, hi, Enderman. Please don't steal anything. I might need all these mushrooms. Okay, so we got cactus and mushrooms. What can I do with these? Drop a pearl. All right. I just killed that Enderman, and uh, he did not drop a pearl, but he did give me a cute little mushroom. Oh, thanks, dude. So this room, this room is very uh, weird. There's something very high up, and there's a bunch of buttons on the wall that have that change the growth rate. It actually changes the tick speed of what things grow in the room. However, the mushrooms are not growing, probably because they're on bedrock. <laughs> besides the point. So here's my theory. Either one, there's a secret door under one of those cactuses, or two, there's a secret door behind this glowstone right here. Let's see it. Come on. Show me the goods. Show me the goods. No? Nothing? Okay. I'm trying to think here. So there's cactuses, but I need to get up really, really high. So wait a second. Wait, 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 wait. There is a glitch. I don't know if this actually works. Check this out. So if I change the growth rate to, to 999, which is an insanely fast growth rate. Watch this. Wait for it. Oh, oh look, look. <laughs> It's flying! You glitch the cactus by breaking the bottom of it, and it thinks it's growing, so it just keeps going up. We can use this cactus as an elevator. Oh, there's another one going. Oh my gosh, call me a flipping genius. Okay, so here's what I need to do. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off real quick so I can actually pick up some sand. And maybe while we destroy this sand, maybe there is a secret door somewhere under here. Ah, secret door? What about a secret door under this one? Or this one? All right, I guess ASWD is a little bit smart, but not smart enough because I know how to do this glitch. All right, so simple enough, simple enough, right? All right, so you go ahead, we're gonna change, all right? And then you go ahead and delete this, you're gonna delete this bottom one, come on. No, it takes a couple tries, come on. Oh, there it is, there it is, there it is, it's going! I just gotta keep jumping. I gotta keep jumping and I gotta stay in the middle of the cactus and it might hurt me a little bit, but that's okay. But this is a cactus! This glitched elevator, ladies and gentlemen. You can't keep me in prison. I use cactuses as my elevator. I eat nails for breakfast. Wait, no, the bedrock is underneath me. No, wait, boys, I might've goofed up. I might've goofed up here. Uh, do I have any, I have wood. I have wood in my inventory. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. What am I supposed to do here? Oh, oh, oh no. <laughs> Okay, we pull off this crazy cactus glitch, but we don't even look up and realize that there's bedrock above us. There it is, let's go. Let's flip and go, boys. Let's go. To the moon! Cactus rocket, baby. Almost there, come on, come on, a little more, buddy. Okay. Yes! Oh! oh, I almost glitched and fell. All right, buddy, you can just go into the bedrock and disintegrate. Wait, do you go through bedrock? Oh. Oh no, the bedrock just eats you. What is this? Slime pit of despair. That's a sad slime pit, isn't it? There's also a lever over here. What's going on over here? Exit? I don't trust this. I shouldn't trust. But then again, what else do I have to lose? All right, let's go ahead and uh, that doesn't... Oh my gosh, that does not sound good. What the flip? Oh, there's a baby too? Okay, okay. First off, we got to get rid of the baby. The baby, thats that should be not allowed. Come here, baby. Come here. Let me push you off the edge. Let me push you off the edge and then I'll figure out what to do with all, all of your mom and dads. Where's the baby? Where's the baby? There you are. There you are. I got to get rid of you first. Come here. The babies are always the worst. Gotta get rid of them. Dude, how am I gonna get out of this? There's so many zombies. Are you for real? Hey, hey, good. All right. Wait, I have an idea. Okay, so I do not have a water bucket. Wait, I do have rails. Oh boy. I know exactly what to do. Zombies do not like walking across rails. So I will do this. Let's make two layers of rails just for some extra security. And then they will be confused and they will not want to walk around. Oh, no, it's not working. <gasps> Hold on. Okay, if you leave the game and then join back, I shouldn't take any fall damage. But as of right now, if I go back to the game, I will die. I currently have three hearts right now. Okay, so let me save. Okay. Oh my gosh. Usually I have to wait about 10 seconds. So 10 seconds later. Okay, that should be good. Okay, joining the world again. It's loading up. Oh, it worked! Look at that! And the zombies are stuck up there. There is, however, a big slime. Okay. Mr. Slime, could you not do that, please? Am I gonna have to eat some rotten flesh right now? Is that what's about to go down? Yo, back up, bro. Hey, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up! Okay, so I'm now trapped in this pit, and dude, I'm gonna need you to stop looking at me. What's other in these show? Oh! 
boy, you already know. Oh, oh netherite? Oh, you're done, pal. You're done. Yo, you're absolutely done. Come here. Stop it. Stop it. Oh, yeah. You guys are you guys are done for, dude. I literally have a netherite sword. You're, you're dog water. You're trash. I just realized that I am currently stuck in a hole. And there's no way to get out. But there is a lot of good armor. Oh, a trident? Let's go. Also slime blocks. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I already know a glitch to get out of here. But the question is, why would I just want to go back up there? But then again, there's nothing down here. There is everything. Wait, every single one of these chests have the exact same thing. You didn't even put boots in here? I guess I found the prison's armory. Okay, so there's a glitch. Wait, wait, wait. What if maybe I can land on top and then I can jump over or something? But there is a glitch with slime blocks and you place the slime blocks down, right? And then you use the tri to oh yes oh, if i do it right i should be able to fly up high enough oh yeah do a little bit more speed oh a little bit more oh no i messed up I'm, that might be the max height we can get to boom and then boom oh yes come on one more oh yeah but now i'm just back up here what's the point of being back up here wait a sec was this here before? Real exit. L-M-A-O. Yo, who the flip put this? That was not there before. Oh, you've got to be kidding me, bro. What is this? Are you for real? All right, what's in this chest? We got, oh, of course, a saddle and a carrot on a stick. And then below, okay, so that is a really far drop. There's also a lot of boats down there. There's nothing below. Wait a second. I know a glitch. All right, check this out. Check this out. I can grab one of these, right? And let me go ahead and remove some of this. Get rid of this fence here. Okay, perfect. All right, so check this out. If you have a pig, you can obviously control him. But did you guys know that if you're actually falling with a pig, you can switch back and forth and slow him down from falling. But you're still going to take fall damage. So I got to hop out. Oh, <laughs> yo, I just did that. No flipping way. Yes. And I got some pork chops on the way down. How healthy of me. Okay, so what is up here? There's like a giant hole in the wall. There's a bunch of lava. Oh. Oh, nice. And then wait, that's the exit. I see the normal Minecraft world out there. Oh my gosh. Okay. So everyone knows the boat glitch. Yo, this glitch is so hard though. I have to try and clutch this. I don't have enough blocks to make it across either. Flip dude. If I can clutch this. Oh my gosh. All right. So everyone knows the boat glitch, right? So you run and you jump and place the boat as you go. All right. So you run, jump, jump. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, 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 there's a skeleton. Boys, I'm a free man. I'm really scared of the skeleton though. Look, was someone trying to build a house here? What a noob of a house. All right, boys. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm probably about to die from the skeleton. Oh, flipping biscuits and cheese. <laughs> thank you guys for watching. I'm a free man. Hey, SWD ain't gonna trap me in prison no more. I know all the hacks.